Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It has been a while since I have vlogged. It feels like it's been forever. I still need to edit my Mexico vlog. I was just thinking about that this morning. I like totally forgot about it. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Um, <clears throat> but I, <clears throat> dang. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I had to put Riley down last week. My dog, obviously not a person. Um, and it was a week, it was a lot. Thought I wasn't gonna cry, but I am gonna do a weekend vlog and because I move out of here in nine days. Um, so I'm gonna be just doing a lot this weekend, like moving wise. Um, and I also just have a couple other things that I wanna do this weekend that would be like fun to vlog. So I figured I would start one this weekend. Um, I made a TikTok get ready with me this morning and it talks more about Riley and what happened to her. Ultimately, she had lymphoma, which is an incurable cancer that moves really fast. Um, okay. So, to avoid having to talk about it again, um, I will insert my tiktok clip here good morning guys and happy friday i have a not so good life update <sighs> okay <laughs> i did not think i was gonna cry but i suddenly had to put my dog down last week okay i think i've gathered myself <laughs> so um on last wednesday he was diagnosed with lymphoma which here we go again if you don't know is not curable and very rapid because i can go ahead and scratch off crying on the internet off of my bingo card for this year um definitely don't think that was gonna happen lymphoma is very rapid and there's no cure um which is kind of crazy because it is like the most common cancer in dogs but i think maybe there's like a lack of research because of how quick it can move but she was fuck she was diagnosed on a wednesday and i had to put her down on a friday two days later uh, she had started just kind of like acting weird the week before but nothing like too alarming like she um was like starting to just kind of lose her appetite but like would still eat eventually she just wasn't really eating in the morning which is really not that alarming for her because she just she's not a dog who likes to just like wake up and eat she does love to eat a lot of food though like in general but she was still eating just like maybe barely less um but still like going to the bathroom as normal and acting normal um, so it really wasn't like too alarming and that was like two weeks ago now, I guess. Um, and then towards the end of that week, um, over the weekend, she like, threw up like two times over the course of like two and a half days. Um, and then like her appetite like decreased a lot more. So then I actually got worried that maybe she like ate my, a pair of my underwear or something, which she's done before. So then Sunday, I went um, on a walk. So not this past Sunday, but the one before that. I went on a walk with some of my friends and I got back and noticed that her lymph nodes were swollen. Like I saw it. I saw it as soon as I walked into the room. Obviously then I started Googling all of her symptoms and I knew immediately what it was once I started Googling. Um, she just had every single symptom. So I kind of like braised myself, but I also was trying 
to convince myself that it was like a million other things, of course. So at that point, she wasn't like throwing up anymore. She only had two times um, and not that day. And she still would like eat some. It was obviously like not what she used to eat. And I wasn't giving her dog food at that point. I was like trying to feed her like chicken and rice. Um, she would eat just like plain chicken, obviously. And like she would only eat a few pieces at a time and like that was about it. She also did lick a little bit of this like CBD peanut butter that I had gotten from the dispensary. And she ate like some plain Greek yogurt. She also was still like she wasn't super tired. She was still getting really excited to like go outside on our walks. Um, and that was Sunday. So then I called the vet Monday morning as soon as they opened. And they were able to like schedule an appointment for Wednesday morning. That was like the earliest that they could. She stopped eating like all together, basically. And Sunday night she really she only ate like a couple bites of something. And she had stopped eating. She was still like drinking a lot of water. Um and she was just getting like more tired. So by Wednesday morning I was like ready to get her in there. I was like I would have taken her to a emergency vet if it was like if I thought I needed to. Um in hindsight, there was nothing that they could do, so I'm glad that I didn't. So she got in Wednesday morning. I could tell the vet knew immediately because they drained liquid from her lymph nodes. And what else? Did they, oh, they did an ultrasound because her stomach was like a little distended. So she just wanted to make sure that she didn't have fluid in her stomach, which she didn't, thankfully. But she could see that she had a mass or was the lymph node inside I guess it was whew, swollen and the third thing they did was a blood test like a bunch of different ones um and they weren't like terrible but I guess you could tell that her calcium was elevated which is like the number one sign other than the lymph nodes so there are two treatment options one is chemo it can be like which first of all you have to get referred to an oncologist and she had like declined so rapidly that she needed something like immediate. So chemo can give like a nine to 12 month life expectancy if it works. And by working, it means it masks the symptoms. And then all of a sudden they like decline and need to be put down. Um, and it starts at like, 10 grand um but we didn't have time for that so the other option is steroids um and it can be like a two month life expectancy I started on the steroids that day um i had to shove them in her mouth and squirt a syringe of water because she wasn't eating so i didn't have anything to put them in and it was who i had my work cut out for me but ultimately she did not respond at all. So basically if they don't respond, there is nothing else that can be done. And I had a follow-up appointment Friday afternoon and we had to just change it to a euthanization appointment. I lost like 20 pounds in like just a few days. It was mind blowing and she couldn't get up anywhere. She wasn't eating and yeah. It was actually a very peaceful and a great experience for something like if it has to be done. So I really was thankful for that. That goes out to anyone else who has had a dog with lymphoma because it is a death sentence and it is traumatic. So now my dark hum humor, of course, we just keep joking like she really didn't want to go to Nashville. I move in exactly two weeks and yeah, I am so embarrassed to post me crying on the internet, but thank you for watching and now that we got that over with and I can stop being emotional on the internet, um, now that I've cried like on TikTok and YouTube, I am not an emotional person at all um, when it comes to my own personal life. But like for others, like I'll cry. I don't know why. And especially like my dog. She is my child. So, so yeah, like I said on the TikTok, I guess she just really didn't want to go to Nashville. Um, 
and I didn't get her a backyard and she was gonna be pissed that she had to walk up and down a flight of stairs every time she went out. So she was like, fuck you, I'm not going. Like, I'm just gonna break your heart instead. Um, but yeah, so it comes in waves and I've been doing good all week. So like, I really thought I was gonna be able to do, film that TikTok and any of this without crying, but like, who do I think I am? Um, so yeah, it is. Just me going to Nashville. <laughs> yeah, um, we're just gonna move on because I'm tired of crying. So, um, I made my coffee. It's Friday morning. I was starting to make my breakfast and then I lost my appetite. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Um, I already had my little shot, juice shot. Um, and yeah, I was gonna make some potatoes and eggs. And I like cooked the potatoes and like, you know when you're just like, I haven't, like, I, I started eating again this week. Last week, I did not eat. Um, it was terrible. Um, and so the last two days, I, well, I mean, really this whole week, I've been eating more. Um, but the last two days, I've started, like, working out again and, like, not just, like, laying around. Feeling better. I ran a mile yesterday for the first time in, like, over two years. Like, running in general. I haven't ran in, like at least two years since I used to do like Orange Theory. Um, and I'm not a runner, but it was actually so fun. It's also on my TikTok and I'm gonna like keep it going. Um, I, I didn't just like run up like straight mile. Like I walked in between, it took me like 13 minutes, which is better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing it like every single day, except I am gonna start my period like I think tomorrow. Um, and I don't do any like hardcore physical activity. So I'll just be walking, but for the first two days and then when it's over, I'll get back to running, um, which was kind of TMI, but th really with me, there's like nothing that's TMI, so. Um, but yeah, I am moving out of here on the 11th, and it is the second. I'm like, how is this happening? Like it's literally next weekend, so what the fuck? And then the following weekend I move, Friday the 16th, we're starting our drive. Um, and then I get to move in the Saturday. So we're gonna drive to Little Rock on Friday, me and my mom. And it's like a little over six hours. And then Saturday is the day that my lease starts and we're just gonna finish the drive. It'll be like five hours, not bad at all. Um, it's like two Oklahoma drives. That's like what we were saying. Like I've made that drive so many times. And in my vlog where I talked about moving, um, I, uh, mentioned i'm selling all of my furniture and at that time i was still planning on keeping my couch um because i got it just a few months ago and i love it it's like this cloud couch it looks a mess over there right now um but it's so awesome i bought it from a friend so i didn't buy it like brand new um but it looks brand new and so i was originally gonna bring it and then i just started like thinking like so we were gonna have to get a U-Haul trailer where you can like pull it behind your car. Um, and I was gonna have to get a hitch installed on my car and the trailer started out at like $400 or something. And then um, I would need it for a week because I move out of here on the 11th and I don't move in there until the 17th. So, but the time limit was like four days or something, three or four days. And I was gonna have to pay extra fees for like a few days and it was just like the total cost of it was just like More than like what it's worth um, Like it was like I'm paying as much to move this for like what it cost me um, Which is just kind of stupid the only piece of furniture that I was bringing um, I have all my clothes obviously and then like some kitchen stuff um, and whatever and so once we like figure out how many boxes we have, um, we're gonna see if everything will fit in my car. And if not, which hopefully it will, if there's just a couple extra boxes that don't fit, then I can just ship them, um, which will be super easy. And yeah, but if we have just like too many, um, where it's like, cause like shipping big boxes is kind of expensive. Um, then we could just rent a second car, but it would just be easy if we could just be in one car. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. That is like up in the air, but like renting a car, we would just need it for two days. 
and um, it would be like less than half the price of like what the trailer was gonna be and stuff. Um, and we wouldn't even fill up a trailer. So all in all, it was just kind of stupid. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna get there. Hopefully my mattress will be there. When I move in, I'm gonna try to get it delivered that day and I can open it. I'm doing like one of those mattress in a box so I can like open it and let it be like inflating. Um, and then like the only other thing I'll have to unpack is like clothes and um, kitchen stuff. Um, and we can go buy a couch. So yeah, I'm selling my TVs also, which that reminds me I need to put my TV on Facebook or maybe I could on my Instagram. Um, my house is looking so empty. Last weekend my mom, or on Monday, I, ended, I stayed with her all weekend. She went with me on Friday for Riley, thank God. And then I stayed with her all weekend so that I didn't have to be here, um, which was the best choice. Um, and then we came back here Monday, packed some stuff up. I ordered some vacuum seal bags and I'm just gonna like all my clothes so I can like shove them in the suitcases that I have um and the duffel bags and yeah i've sold like everything i kind of showed you earlier in my living room except the couch ignore the tv trays i had dinner with my friend there was the console table here so the girl bought the console table my record player and some of the vases on it my coffee table's gone the chair is gone um and then i need to make my bed i have not been uh good today oh not my alarm going off. My room looks a mess. Um, also, just ignore all this. I, I'm gonna throw that stuff away. Not this though. Um, and then my vanity mirror got sold. Someone is coming to get my um, stand-up desk on Saturday morning. So it is all just like dwindling. Um, Anyways, that's the plan for this weekend. Also, I wanted to, I'm going, I'll probably make a TikTok and like put it in this. I've like really liked doing that. Um, but I'm going, I got this stuff to laminate my brows. I've been wanting to like go get it done with the tint and like brow lamination. And like, it's like at least a hundred bucks. And then like, obviously I would tip and I'm just like, that just seems like so much money for something that I can do myself probably. So, cause I also kind of want to do the eyelash lift and tint and I'm like, that's like over $200 like together. And I'm like, I am just like spending so much money. I'm about to like buy, furnish a whole new apartment, like buy a couch and stuff. So I'm like, just trying to be cautious of like what I'm spending. So I ordered the stuff to do the brow lamination and I got the eyebrow tint. I watched like 8 million TikToks um, and yeah, I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm going to be very cautious with like the perming solution um, because it can singe off like perm is like chemical. So yeah, um, I'll probably do like the littlest amount of time the first time I try it. So I'm very excited. Yeah, that was a lot um, and I will... I don't know why I just like zoomed out. Um, I will see you later this afternoon. We're gonna attempt to laminate and tint my brows. I've literally never done it before. Never gotten it done before. So we're doing the cleaning stuff. We put this adhesive in the brows to like give them the shape that we want them to be. Okay, and then, oh no, my phone has 10%. I'm gonna just brush them up with this. I have this thing. Oh, ow. This is kind of a jump scare, but I have them all done and it just looks like I have really short, straight eyebrows. I have no arch and then they end like right here, obviously, which like is perfect for the Bella Hadid thing. But like without the filled in part, I just, it looks crazy. But okay, now time for our perm stuff. I guess I need to like get this on pretty quickly. Eight minutes starting now. Well, like, so setting my timer. I'm doing a notification. Do you want to hear it? One at a time. No. Okay, I added the second one because I didn't want to wait. And it's been eight minutes. Probably like closer to nine now. And we're looking good. I don't have a cotton pad, which is what you're supposed to remove it with. The setting, it's blue, which is crazy. I got a new brush thingy. And we're going to just... Do the same thing in the same amount of time. Timer's up. 
We are going to wipe this off. We're gonna tint them next, which honestly, that's what I'm most nervous for. I'm definitely gonna do one eye at a time. I mixed the color. I definitely probably didn't need the whole capsule. And I'm going to start like mostly, go to look in the mirror. Okay, I literally, it's been on like two seconds, but I just don't want this part to get like hella dark. Okay, I think I like how it looks. It's definitely like a cooler tone brown um, and my hair is obviously very warm. So I think I'll like it like after it's like rinsed off a couple times um, and it fades a little, but it looks good. And the lamination looks so good but I need to find like a warmer tone brown. Okay, it's definitely kind of giving jump scare. I don't have any other makeup on and the dye is obviously really dark, but I actually really like it. Like I feel like it'll end up looking so good after like a day or so, but the lamination, ignore the color, it's a little stuck. The lamination looks really good. I have this nutrition and if I wasn't coloring them, it says to like put it on after you do the blue stuff. Uh -uh. Okay, that is it. I literally, I literally look like Bert and Ernie. I cannot. It, it's, it's scary. It's a jump scare at first, but we're gonna trust the process. And I'm sure with makeup, it'll look better. But this color needs to fade and then we'll be Gucci. Okay, I'm editing this and I just wanted to show you it and not such bright lighting. It's not, it's still scary, but it's not quite as scary or as harsh. Still, it's still like borderline Burton Ernie, but let's just give it like two days. We'll be okay. Hi guys. Ignore <laughs> the jump scare of my eyebrows. I know they're scary looking right now because they're super, super dark, but look how good the lamination looks. There's nothing on my brows. Like I woke up and they looked like this. Um, but I haven't been able to like wash my face or use water. So after like a couple face washes, the color will like fade a lot. Um, it is definitely like a cool tone brown. So I would like to find like a warmer tone because obviously my hair is like red um, and it'll look even better. But after a couple face washes, I promise these will look way better, way less scary, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, it's Saturday morning, actually it's Saturday afternoon. I have been like up and at them. Um, it's 2.30. But someone came and got my stand-up desk today, this morning. There's just a chair there now. And now I have shit everywhere because I cleared it off. And I, like, haven't put shit away. Um, and then I had to go get my car serviced. Um, I don't know why I'm holding this up. I went and got my car serviced at the Infinity dealership. Um, and I really didn't even need it. I've literally only put 4,000 miles on my car in nine months. Like, I just never drive far. Uh, it's like every 7,000 miles you need the oil changed. Um, but I am driving to Nashville in two weeks, so I was like, I want to just like get a service. I also get a free service at my dealership for the first year. So I wanted to use it. Um, it was too early for a tire rotation, so we just did the oil change. And then I ran into Memorial City Mall because they have Abercrombie and I want some new Abercrombie shorts. Um, but they like have been, they've been sold out online of like the styles that I wanted to try. Um, and I went in the store and they were just like, they had so many shorts, but like, I don't know why in every single style they had, I'm not kidding, like 20 size 33s. I'm like, I don't know why there was so many of just that size. Like there was no small sizes. There was no just like, like I'm usually like a 27 in Abercrombie. There was not a single 27 or a 28 um, in like any styles. But there was so many 33s. I'm like, did someone like mess up the fucking shipment? Because it looked like they had so many pairs of shorts. But like that was the only size they had in anything. But I got some athletic shorts and I went to a few other places. So I'm just going to show you everything that I got. Um, Northern Miss. Uh, I went to 
American Eagle and Airy, and I just got this top from Airy. It's super comfy. It's like a soft like workout top. It's just black, and then it has like more of like a ribbed, like tighter. It's not like a band, but kind of like a band. I don't know. It feels really good. It was on sale for like twenty something. And then I went to Mac, and I got. I saw this on TikTok. This new squirt plumping gloss stick. I got the pink one. I'm gonna try it in a second. But let's see, it looked, ooh, it smells really good. I just caught a whiff of it. Um, yeah, I got some shorts from Abercrombie, which honestly, like, kind of stupid. They're like $50, but I did have a $10 reward. But I just feel like $50 is a lot for just some like workout shorts. They did fit cute. Um, they have that like thicker band. They're navy. I wish they had black, but whatever. I don't own anything navy. Um, yeah, this is the front. And then they have like this, which it was really flattering. So they're cute. And they kind of need some more like athletic y shorts. I really only have like sweat shorts. So I did kind of need those. Um, of course, I got fucking cargos. I need denim shorts. American Eagle's denim shorts were terrible. Like they were all like fucking booty shorts and that's just not my vibe. Um, or like super, super high rise. And I like a mid rise um, or at least not like the ultra high rise because um, I'm 5'3 and my torso is so fucking short. I cannot wear high rise. Um, or else they literally like hit at my ribs. It looks terrible. But these car, I've been wanting cargo denim. I actually do not have cargo denim. I have black cargo denim, but I don't have light and they fit so cute and they're so soft and they're not like thick and rigid um they were just super super cute and i i size up their stretch also i size up to an eight and then i can like pull them down a little more um and do like a little more of a low rise also so yeah they were really really cute um i need to like try them on dreamy drape Super high rise, baggy, wide leg, stretch. But when I really get cargos, I always size up a size um, because I love the baggier they are and also I love to be able to like pull them down over my hips. But anyways, I'm gonna go try this and I'm gonna go to H-E-B, make a coffee and then I'm gonna lay down for a little bit because I just feel like tired. Um, and then we're gonna get shit done. I am gonna go check. I ha I ordered dishwasher pods. They came, and I'm gonna go see if I can find those freaking vacuum seal bags. And if not, I might have to like go to Walmart in the morning or something, and hopefully they have some. I saw Target has the bags, but I don't like I the ha mine that I ordered. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Had a pump that like sucks the air out, so that's like what I needed. But we'll see if they're there. I'm gonna go. We're back and I ran by the package room and I think I found my whoo, uh, vacuum seal bags. Also, I used that Mac stuff and I love it. Wasn't really surprised. Um, but these are the blonde pods, espresso pods. They're so good. And then I saw that they finally restocked this, the TheraBreath, but specifically the whitening mouthwash. It is so good. I almost like immediately noticed a difference the last time I used this. And then I tried the Lumino one because this one for some reason is always hard to find and they don't sell it on Amazon. They sell all their other ones but not the whitening one. Um, and I found it restocked today. But I switched to the Lumino brand one and I don't think it does anything for me. But this one is so good. It's so minty and it makes my teeth so white. I also ordered their toothpaste on Amazon the other day. It came this week and um, it's odd. It's like a clear gel looking toothpaste. It's not a whitening one I don't think. Um, and it doesn't like suds up a lot so we'll see if I keep using it or not. Molly suds, these are the dish pods that I use. I also use their laundry powder in the laundry uh, oxygen brightener. It's like a OxyClean or whatever. What, isn't that what it's called? The whitening stuff. Um, but it's like bleach free. 
And if you are looking to switch to more natural cleaning things, um, reduce your toxic load, this brand is amazing. Everything that they have. Yay! I don't know like how many bags I'm gonna need. This is like a variety pack. We're either gonna start that tonight or in the morning. I'm gonna make my coffee and then lay on my couch. And I'm watching OU Softball in the College World Series again. Of course. Um, and then we'll see if I keep or if I start <laughs> packing stuff. Because I have slacked this week, but whatever. Guys, it's Sunday morning. Um, late morning. I just went and got a Smoothie King because I also went to HEV and my mom's coming in a couple hours to help me pack. We have exactly a week till I have to be out of this place. Um, <clears throat> and I went into HEV and I got paper plates so that we can go ahead and pack up all of my dishes and just have one last thing. And also, I have been wanting to try the original line Nespresso machine and I was like looking for that. I was going to sell mine and then just like get one when I got there um, to Nashville. But um, I said something about it, I guess, to my mom and she was like, oh my god, I literally had a client the other day who was like, oh, um... I have an espresso, like if anyone wants it, the original line. I don't I don't even know which machine machine it is, but anyway, so I was like, okay, perfect. And then my mom is taking mine. She is going to give it to her assistant who's also her best friend. Um, because she's been wanting an espresso. So she's gonna take mine and the pods and stuff. Um, and then my little organizer tray. And then my mom is going to buy me a pod organizer whenever I move um, for her payment, um, which I do not care about her paying me. Um, we're just trading. So, yeah, I went. she's going to bring it today and so she can take mine and then I'll have one all week and I just went and got some pods. I also, so the original one, I think it only does espresso, which is all that I like so that works for me and I think it does better espresso but also one of the number one good things about it is that I guess so there's original and Virtuo line and I have the Virtuo line of the Virtuo plus and it has the bigger circle pods and then there's the original line machines that are like the OG obviously the original um but I guess the patent expired on that machine or that line of machines so now everyone can make pods for it um so the pods are just like way easier to get like the only people who can make pods for virtua line is starbucks um and they only have two espressos um the blonde one which i love um that's one that i like went and got literally yesterday um and then they have the regular espresso line i am not a fan of it it's super acidic and just like bleh, not smooth um so and then like you can get pods off Amazon for the Virtu Virtuo, but they don't have the ones that I really like. You have to order through Nespresso and it's just like a hassle. And there's one in Houston, but it's in the Galleria. And if you're in Houston, then you just know going to the Galleria is fucking terrible. Um, and it'll take you like 20 minutes inside to like fucking walk to the Nespresso store. Um, so anyways, that's why I was wanting to try out the original, but I was just going to look on Facebook because... I didn't want to like spend a lot of money on one if I like didn't end up liking it. Um, and I am just someone who clearly like likes to change it up. I did have my fancy ass espresso machine, which I love so much. Um, but I sold it and I will probably eventually go back to like a real espresso machine. But Nespresso is really good. Um, and it's just easy and I like switching it up. So I went and I got some pods. Um, I only got two things, but I got this Pete's brand. They had the Starbucks blonde, but I wanted to like try something different, so hopefully I don't regret it. Um, it's a dark roast intensity 10, but I normally like ristretto shots, which is like what would be in a flat white if you've ever had a flat white. Um, I think I just think they're really good. So hopefully, um, it's like a short shot, but it's just like packs a punch, but like still it's not acidic. 
so hopefully these are like that and then i got i have no idea what brand this is it just says new capsule Pro plus crema and i love the crema so i'm like does it have extra crema i don't know um which ones did i get the cremoso it sounded creamy <laughs> um and it's like four out of five strong um it has sweetness and it's balanced which is what i like so yeah i don't i hate whenever your shots taste like burnt and acidic and that's just like not my vibe i like a smooth shot so we're gonna try these later whenever she gets here um she's not gonna be here for like probably two hours so maybe i'll just make a single shot because i haven't had coffee yet so yeah i guess i'm going to go ahead and get started my mom thinks that i've been doing stuff so she's gonna get here and be like what did you do there's like nothing done so i think i might try the vacuum seal bags after making coffee Um, but I didn't end up filming me while I'm moving. It was just like crazy, uh, or packing. Um, but we got a lot done. We went to eat Mexican food at Super Rica, and then we came back and grinded. So I'll show you some progress. Ooh. Oh my God. We did another bag. That is literally, this was the one with all of my jackets and stuff in it. Um, which is just still insane to me. Like, how did I do that? There's so many big jackets in here and puffer jackets and all the things. This has <laughs> so many shirts. It has, like, almost all of my workout shirts except just a few that I'll, like, be using. And a couple, like, basic dresses that I'll want just till I move. All of that. All those big jackets also. Literally, that's, like, half my closet in just these two bags. Then I have, like... Can you tell that I only wear black and white? Um, then I only have like this. Dang, I should have put this jacket in there. That was dumb. Um, T-shirts like this will take up more. There's some like sweatshirts. Um, but like all of this and all of these will like all fit in one. Um, it's crazy. Um, I can't decide what I'm going to do with that. 
Um, all that's cleaned out, I showed you. And then, office is done. That trash can's being thrown away. That is my liquor. Um, that's all trash. That's not trash. That's my like cleaning machine thing. I'm going to clean my carpet from when Riley was so sick. Um, what else? Oh, obviously. We took the pictures down. Took the rug. I'm giving it to my grandma, so my mom took it. We have those pictures wrapped. Um, this is so much kitchen stuff. <laughs> Random hibiscus flowers. We did like all of my dishes. I think, oh, I need to list that or put it on my Instagram. I think I'm getting rid of that ninja blender. And then all of my glassware, except just I'm not keeping any of these. This one's broken and then, or this one's broken. And then I have two of those. I'm using one. They used to be a huge set and I've slowly broken them all. So I'm just not going to use them. And then smoothie stuff that I'm keeping all my other glassware and then we cleaned out all of this which was a nightmare that's just gonna be thrown away and some vitamins because i can't stop buying vitamins but i have shit everywhere i'm working at my tv tray um this is driving me crazy but we're almost to the finish line so it's okay i need to take these curtains down we did take these down but i need to get up there and undrill those hooks so yeah, I also need to sell that desk. My sister-in-law was going to take it, but now she's not, so I need to list it. Oh, my camera's falling. But, yeah. Oh, I got... I'll turn myself back around. I got the espresso machine for my mom. We tried it yesterday, and it was so good. And I just made one. It's delish. But that's it. I'm going to probably do more clothes later. Um, and yeah, we can't decide. Let's go sit on the couch. Um, I have someone, they scheduled movers for Friday to come get the couch. Um, so if they end up like flaking, that's gonna suck. <laughs> because then I only have like two days to figure out someone having to come get it. Um, but I also need to get on Thumbtack and hire someone or like schedule someone to help us unload everything Saturday just cause we're on the second floor and it's just me and my mom. So yeah, um, my dad is not able to come um, until he's coming in July. So, yeah, I'm going to just hire someone and it literally will not take them very long. Um, like an hour at the most. Because um, again, it's not furniture. Which, that would be nice if my mattress was there and they could help me bring that up. Because I know that box will be heavy. But I'm so excited to have a king bed. I don't know if I'm going to order like a bed frame before. Um, I'm kind of indecisive, but I've also been looking on Facebook Marketplace. I, I'm a Facebook Marketplace slut. Okay, I look on that shit all the time. I've been on the Nashville one for so long. Like, I just keep looking. There's so many good things. Um, but I might just have a bare-ass mattress on the floor while I decide what I want. So, anyways, um, it's happening so quickly. Um literally 11 days till we start the drive and i had to be out it's monday i have to be out of here in six days which is crazy i feel like i've been like planning this for so long and then like now it's finally like all happening so fast um but yeah i'm so excited and yeah that's all i have to say i need to edit this vlog and get it up and yeah, and then my next one will be me moving. Yay! Um, but thanks for watching, and I love you. And <laughs> yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say. I haven't vlogged in a while. I like forgot how to end this thing, but. Oh, 
Ooh, I almost just found my coffee over. My shit show of an apartment. We'll be back in action soon. So, love you. Bye.